Welcome back guys to our cross over Mark and Mark here, your co-host and we're going straight to the Raptors because a lot of big things has happened for them. Start of all, let's talk about the Sixers uh, lo- uh, I mean, dominating win over the Sixers. What is that? I mean, they literally lost so bad that they traded all <laughs> for <laughs> Tobias Harris. What does it say about the Raptors? I mean, how good are they? The thing about Raptors is that there's, they're a team ball. Mm-hmm. The ball moves around compared to Sixers that everything in the pl- all the place is for JJ Redick or one-on-one with Embiid. Mm-hmm. With Raptors, it's like the ball moves. And like, it, 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 they are, the identity, identity for that team is that team chemistry, like just move the ball around and see mm-hmm. who's open. Mm-hmm. And what I realized with Sixers is that, okay, JJ Redick was hurt. Mm-hmm. So they couldn't run plays. So they, it was Simmons and then Embiid doing one on one. So it's that's I think that's why how the Sixers lost and then the trade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but what have you noticed so far with with the way the Raptors play? Even though they have Kawhi, like does it revolve around Kawhi or the, do you see that there's something more about what you, uh, the way they play? As the way they play, like you know, um, as a team, Raptors are really a uh, tough defensive team. Mm-hmm. That's the biggest thing that um, they do. Um, they get, they have shooters too. Um, they have Danny Green, consistent. And then when they have Kawhi, they have a, a main like you know star player. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a really uh, a killer. There. Not only they have they're a defensive team, they have a main guy that they can rely on when you know they they need it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, well, when with the with, with just the past few days, even that dominating win. I think a lot of people, a lot of teams in the East decided that, you know, we can't, we can't win close against maybe a team like the Raptors or the Boston Celtics unless we make some moves. So a lot of the teams in the East, top team in the East, like the Bucks, like we mentioned, and the Sixers <laughs> made some trades, but so did the Raptors. I mean, the big trade okay. that we're going to talk about, hmm. the first time we've had really a blockbuster trade like this, yeah. Gasol, we, Paul, Mark Gasol from uh, the Memphis Grizzlies, we acquired for JV, DeLon, and CJ. What does this trade do for our team? Like, what are your thoughts about the trade? Yeah, pure defense, man. Like, yeah. from top top to bottom, like, starting five, mm-hmm. they all play defense. Like, mm-hmm. Marcus Hall, I, I think, was, wasn't he an uh, ex-defensive uh, yeah, player of the year? Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. goodness. He got Kawhi, Ibaka, all defensive players. Yeah. Green, Kyle Lowry, he's a, you know, a bulldog. The lockdown. <laughs> Don't Crazy, you think, man. But do you think he's, like, worth it? Because you guys going to pay him 25 a year. Yeah, I, I'll you be honest with you. I, I've wanted this trade to happen for, like, a long time. I don't know why <laughs> they just made it now. Mm-hmm. JV for Marcus Hall. I've been saying that for years. Mm-hmm. But they finally made it happen. I can't believe it. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I don't know if what you guys thought about uh, the previous um, uh, rumor where they wanted to trade um, Kyle Lowry for um, Mike Conley. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you, you guys agree yeah. with that. I agree with this It was supposed, this, it was this supposed to be... Lowry and, and JV for Gasol and Conley. I think that would have been better. I think I would have yeah. liked that. But then um, I just didn't like uh, losing DeLon Wright. Like, mm-hmm. He's a good backup point guard in case you know so, uh, one of the, our main point guards go down. That's, mm-hmm. that's the only loss, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, CJ mm-hmm. don't need him. <laughs> CJ don't need him. <laughs> no, I think you guys can afford him to, yeah. like, to, to leave the Raptors because yeah. you guys have backups too, right? Mm-hmm. You have Van Fleet and then you have o- OG mm-hmm. and then Powell. Mm-hmm. So... Mm. With CJ Miles yeah. leaving and maybe uh, Kawhi yeah. can play some point guard, maybe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what are your thoughts in, in in terms of how does where does this put the Raptors in terms of the packing order in the in the Eastern Conference or maybe even the whole NBA conference in general? Where does the Raptors fall in to get a player of Gasol's uh, caliber in terms of the way he passes the ball, the way he shoots, the way he defends, defensive anchor? What is where does this put the Raptors? Um. Top three. Let's talk in the East first. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Where, where, where are they in the East? Top two. Either either them or Bucks. Mm. Yeah, because with that Beartage trade. It's trade, hard, man. Yeah. It's really oh. hard. <laughs> if, if, lineup for lineup, per, on the paper, you look at them. You got the Bucks with Giannis, Middleton, yeah. Bledsoe. Uh, Miritich and and um, what's his name Lopez yeah. and then you got Raptors <laughs> with Kawhi, Danny Green, Lowry, Lowry. Ibaka or Siakam yeah. and Marcus Gasol. Actually, that 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 that's how on paper sounds really like sick, man. Yeah, yeah but I would the say Raptors squad. Sixers. Is this the best? Is this the, is the Sixers. <laughs> <laughs> kind of well, biased. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I like the Raptors <laughs> team. Better, they, do, they do have on paper too. Have yeah. a pretty good because you have what, ben, Simmons, ben Simmons, JJ. Reddit, Tobias, yeah. Jimmy, and and Embiid. So these three, Four and then, and then you put, or used to be and then you put so. the, the Boston Celtics in there too, where you have Kyrie, 
uh, either Marcus Smart that they have in the starting for Jason Tatum, uh, Horford, Jaylen and then Brown. you have Jalen Brown yeah. or or um, what's his name. Um, Gordon Hayward. Yeah, yeah. this lacking. The, these uh, these four teams are stacked. Yeah, it's super stacked. Yeah, uh, I, I choose the Raptors. I, I like Raptors the most out of all those teams. There's just something about if you put them together. I mean, these are four defensive mindset, you know, defensive type players yeah. before offense comes even in. Like they are all defensive mindset mm -hmm. from uh, top to bottom. I you would can say it's really you never know. You mm -hmm. never know with this team because. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to NBA, it's about coaching too. Mm. So right now, it's Brad Stevens and uh, uh, the Hawks. I mean, the Bucks coach. Mm -hmm. They used to be Hawks. Uh, yeah, Bon Hawks. Bon, yeah, that guy. Those guys are really good coaches mm -hmm. and a good team that can that can go somewhere. Mm -hmm. So as much as I want to say Sixers, <laughs> <laughs> they need some coaching. They need some coaching improvement. Who's their coach again? Uh, Brent Brown. Brent Brown. So uh, you. You, you never know with Brent Brown. Mm -hmm. You, you kind of mm -hmm. like, eh. so yeah. Well, I, this is the Raptors saying we're going for the win, win now, win now, yeah. and, and mentality. But if you look at it, it's just the best I've ever, I mean, Masai has done a great yeah. job Masai. in terms of putting teams together and drafting. It is the best, it is the best team that has ever assembled for the Raptors. If for you sure, look at man. All the like, best of hands down. Like, this is the team where I can say I believe they can make it all the way. Mm -hmm. You know, like past squads with DeMar and Kyle Lowry. I mean, sure, they, they win, they're number one, but then I didn't have that confidence where I'm like, oh yeah, they're gonna make it to the finals. Mm -hmm. it, I, when I see that squad, I'm like, oh yeah, they're just good for regular season. But this one, this season, Man, they're they're ready for war. They're they're really going all out. Like Masai <laughs> don't care if Kawhi stays for like one month, two months. He don't care. Like he's really gonna go gunning for the finals, man. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the best lineup because you guys had the best lineup when it comes to Stadamar, Tracy McGrady, and Vince Carter. That was that was a good lineup, mm -hmm. but that's just the talent wasn't there yet. Mm -hmm. So but in terms of the team, yeah, that was the team, team oh, the whole yeah, the saying, depth. This is super deep, I mean, man. you can have yeah. Ibaka coming off the bench yeah. or Siakam. Your background is like is a starter Bentley. for a different team. Yeah, <laughs> this is how the move we've yeah. ever been. So, um, this this move. So, our conclusion is this: these trades that happen for both the Bucks and for both the Sixers and the Raptors. This is how much of you know does it move the needle in the East? Like. Does it make it even more confusing to predict? Um, like does it give it more confusing powers. to predict who's gonna um, win? Uh, no, I mean I'll be honest. Like the only team I'm kind of worried about now is just mm -hmm. Bucks. Mm -hmm. Sixers, you never know because they haven't played a game. You'll see when they start. If they do mesh, mm -hmm. then you gotta start getting worried for the playoffs. Because sure, they they dismantled them the other the, the other game, but. They didn't have to buy Cyrus yet. Do you think, mm. yeah, you think, you know? They, uh, so it just makes it, at the end, <laughs> yeah. we're, just as, we're just as confused as everybody <laughs> not to predict who's going to win yeah. the East now. In the That's how the fact those four teams are. Yeah. And which is good to see. Yeah. We want competition in the East as much as we yeah, want the Raptors. Uh, yeah. Well, we I want, want Raptors to win, so. Yeah. Uh, Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I think well, just, you guys need Kawhi <laughs> to go to the finals to <laughs> keep him because. Clippers are doing all the scheming stuff just to grab them. Yeah. I think the teams are just hitting yeah. on the Raptors. They they don't want Raptors to make it to the finals or yeah. they don't want them to be number one. So yeah. you'd never see really these teams, you know, stacking up like that, like yeah. been, like ever before, you know. So I agree. I mean, all great stuff. I mean, the Raptors are so exciting, but that's all we have for tonight. Great stock about today. the Raptors. I mean, we're excited about the Gasol trade. We're happy oh, that man. the Raptors and Masai are doing trade. all these great. Yeah. Right? So, but before we end the show, Last words for you guys. Anything you want to say to the fans, to the audience, to your parents, to your family, I don't know, to your bae. Shout out now, James. You can start first. Um, I want to shout out to the guy who cut my hair. Um, you know, <laughs> JD Boost. <laughs> <laughs> the Nerex. Just want to say what's up. <laughs> That's it. Any last words, friends? I um, just wanted to give a shout out to my you know, um, relatives in the Philippines and uh, my relatives in LA. And that's about it. Yeah, you guys can get where are you guys can find each other. Where are you gonna find James and in, in Instagram? Where are you gonna find uh, James Mania zero seven? Yeah, and, and F Manila at Instagram. That's it. Awesome, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And other than that, stay balling, everybody. <laughs>